Okay, let's head inside 4132 North Vinewood. <clears throat> so as we walk in, um, it's kind of split the way that the house is. So um, through the front door you have to the right is the kitchen and a living area and to the left over here is another living area back to where our uh, bedrooms are. So uh, flooring is vinyl rolled out. Um, it's not tile, in, it's not tile, it's that kind of rolled almost linoleum type um, flooring. Um, probably so resurfacing of the flooring and um, the walls, etc. Carpet in bedrooms. So let's take a look at this first room here. Um, small floor plan, or uh, footprint of the house means uh, smaller rooms but it's got newer windows on it that appear to be in good shape. On the back bedroom number two, again, similar size. Structurally on the inside, the house looks to be pretty good. There's probably some gutter and maybe some roof work, which I'll show you when we head outside, but inside structurally, it looks pretty good. I think probably just a resurfacing uh, we'll be fine for you. And then this third bedroom. So all the bedrooms are about the same. You're not going to get any. There's no real master suite for this or anything like that. Um, but could be a really good income producing property. Um, our bathroom here is also a laundry room. Um, I'm going to guess that these units stay here because they're here. They're not in the greatest of shape. So just be forewarned on that. Um, but a good sized bathroom here. Again, probably some minor resurfacing on some of the things here. And then here is our mechanicals room. This is this portion here is what's kind of taking up the middle to divide the house up and everything. So there's access to it here. We're looking like a uh, electric unit. And then secondary access here. Um, here's your uh, water here. Again, also electrical. And we'll walk around to the uh, kitchen. So part of that wall that's in the front here is so that they have um, modified the kitchen. It doesn't look like this is probably a part of the original. So this has been extended out to be able to put um, the refrigerator here. Um, you know, if you were gonna spend some money on it, I'd probably take that back to where it was and then try to redo kitchen stuff over here um, with your refrigerator or something like that. Um, here's the living space here as well. Again, structurally, we're in good condition. It's just an odd kind of layout, but again, for rentals, I don't think that that's such an issue. Um, and then we have a pantry here. Okay, so let's see what we can see outside. Go out the back here. It's been raining today, off and on, in the past couple days, so this will actually be a good uh, thing for us to see what the ground and everything looks like from a roof perspective. Um, you can see some damage here on the roof and the gutters, uh, probably from, I guess, right there, that tree, that's been, limb that's been cut there that came down and hit something. Um, the roof doesn't have much life left into it, maybe maybe five years, maybe a tad bit more. Decent sized yard, goes back to a, um, looks like some sort of a green way. Certainly no residence behind us. We have a detached two car garage, uh, really large, which is nice for this area, not common at all. And then Head around to this side. Siding looks to be in good condition. It looks like it's aluminum siding, uh, vertical. 
But again, you can see over on this side, the roof just really needs some work. I would definitely be putting that into my budget when looking at this house. Uh, compressor appears to be in decent enough shape. Kind of odd that it's angled like that, like somebody was moving it. And then we'll walk around here to the front of the house so that you can see this a little bit. So the driveway isn't paved, it's just um, gravel here. But here's your access to your two car garage. And again, you can see it's kind of a little bit of extra space over here. So really generous. And we're also a corner lot. So there's a lot of, you know, nice attractive things about the home. There's also a little bit of challenge, a few challenges as we talked about too. Um, interior wise, I think it's mostly cosmetic. Exterior, I'd be concerned about the roof. My feeling is that it needs to be uh, replaced and or repaired. So let's make sure that we have somebody taking a look at that uh, for it. But otherwise, exterior wise, it really looks pretty good. Um, windows are in good condition, etc. So let us know what you think.